Now that you have set up the books controller, it is time for you to now start adding the API endpoints. And you'll start with the HTTP POST API endpoint that you'll use for adding books to your database. To do that, you'll first add a service, then you'll configure this service in the startup.cs file, then next you'll add the API endpoint, and at the end, you'll test the HTTP POST. So, let us go to Visual Studio and write some code. In Visual Studio, go to the Solution Explorer, then in here, inside the data, we are going to add a new folder for the services. So add a new folder. I'll name this folder services. And inside the services folder, I'll create a new file. So class, and I'll name this file books service. Then click the add button to add this service. Now inside the book service, I'll have for now, just a single method that I'm going to use to add books to our database. To add books to the database, you need to have a reference to the AppDB context file. So for that, I'll just type in here CTOR for the constructor. And inside here, I'll inject the AppDB context file. So I'll just type in here private AppDB context. Then I'll limit underscore context. Then Inside the books service constructor, I'll just write appdb context, context, and then I'll set the value of the underscore context to be context. Now, let us create the first method. So for that, I'll just write in here public void because we don't want to return any data. Add book, and it will take as a parameter a book view model, and I'll just name it book. Now. The reason why I'm passing a view model instead of the model itself is because in the model we have properties like the book ID, the date added, which are properties that we do not ask the user to provide. So for that, I'll just create a new class or a new view model where I'm going to have all the properties that the user needs to provide. So let us type in here curly brackets. Now let us go to the Solution Explorer. I'll just go to the models, open the book.cs, and in here I'll copy all the properties from title to the cover URL. So then Control C. Now let us go back to Solution Explorer. In here I'll create a new folder. So data, right click, then go to add a new folder. I'll name this folder view models. Press enter. Now let us create a new file. So add a new class. I'll name it book VM. VM stands for view model. Now let us paste all the properties in here. So we are going to ask the user to provide a title, description, is read, date read, etc. Now let us go back to the book service and import the book view model the namespace is data.viewmodels now down here we are going to create a book object so var underscore book is equal to new book let us import the namespace which is the data.models so in here i'll type all the book properties like let's start with title that will be equal to book.title then we have the description which will be book.description then we have the is read property that will be book.isread next we have the date read and here we need to check if the book is read already so for that I'll just type in here book.isread so if the book is read then book.dateread.value Otherwise, it will just be a null value. Next, we have the rate. The same way, we need to check if the book is read. So, book.read.value. Otherwise, just null. Next, we have the genre. That will be book.genre. We have the cover URL is equal to book 
cover URL. And we also have the author. So just after the genre, author will be book.author. And the last property in here is the date edit. And the date edit will be date time dot now. Don't forget to add the semicolon at the end in here. What you need to do next is that you need to use the context dot books dot add and add the book to the database. The next, just save the changes by typing in here context dot save changes. Now, for us to be able to use this service throughout our application, we need to go and configure this service in the startup.cs file. So for that, I'll just save the changes in here, put a breakpoint so we can debug, then go to the solution explorer, and you go to the startup.cs. In here, scroll down to the configure services method. And just after the add db context, we're going to configure the services. Then let's configure the first service for that you need to type services dot add transient pass as a parameter the service name which is the books service and import the namespace data dot services and then at the end do not forget to add the semicolon now let us go to the books controller in the books controller we can now inject this service so in here we will have public books service import the namespace this will be underscore books service so add the underscore then down here cdor to create the constructor for the books controller double tab then in here inject the books service name it book service and assign the value so the book service will be the book service at the semicolon now down here we are going to create the first endpoint and we said that it will be an http post api endpoint because we are sending data to the database so http post because we are posting data then i'll just type in your public i action result I want to return an I action result. And we're going to talk later about the return types in an ASP.NET Core web API. And here now let us provide a name, add book. It will take as a parameter from the request body, so from body, a book VM, and just name it book. Then inside here, we are just going to use this service, so the book service dot add book method. So add book passes a parameter the book. Now in here, let us import the book view model. And that will be data dot view models. And then at the end, you can just return an OK for now. But we are going to talk later about the return types in an ASP.NET Core Web API. So here you can save the changes. And if you want to provide like a custom API endpoint URL, you can just, after the HTTP post, you can just type in here, add dash book. Let us save the changes and run the application. We see that we reach the breakpoint from the previous part. So I'll just remove the breakpoint, then continue. Now we can see that the app ran successfully. In here we have the books and it comes from the books controller. Next we have an API endpoint and that's an HTTP post. It's slash API slash books slash add dash book. And on the schemas part we have the book view model because that is the class that we have used in the API endpoint. So now let us test this API endpoint for that I'll just click in here then click the try it out and scroll down in here provide a value for title so this is my title provide a description 
is red, let us leave it true. You can remove the time part if you want from here. The rate, let it be for the genre, let us just say romance. The author, let's say just author. The cover URL will be HTTP, then just some dots and click the execute button. Once you click the execute button, you'll reach to the add book. And in here, you can either press F10 or just the step over button. So the book object will be created. That book will be added to the books from the FDB context and the save changes. Then I'll just click the continue button. And in here we have a response. If you scroll down in here, you have a response, which means success. In here we need to stop the app, then go to Server Explorer, right click on the books and then show table data. And in here we can see that we have the book that we just added and the ID assigned to that book was the ID 3.